Hello folks, welcome back to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. So uh, today, this video is going to be about uh, replacing this rotten rim joist. This is a common problem, uh, especially in, in mobile homes. And I'm going to show you how I fix it. Stay tuned. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna get to work on fixing this uh, this rim joist. It's all rotten through this just through this section. Okay, you can see how this is all dry rotted and uh, coming apart. And so we want to fix this. And part of the reason we're fixing this is uh, we're getting ready for our skirting. So our skirting is going to come up onto the uh, mobile home a bit. So you know, obviously we we want to have this uh, all repaired before we get into putting our skirting and our you know our skirting trim on there uh, it has to be good and sound so uh, we only have this section that is that is damaged uh, there was some damage also that went back underneath the deck and when I bit the, built the deck last uh, last summer um, you know I got in here and I and I fixed that before I put the new deck up so what I'm gonna do now is just carry on with uh, with this repair up to this point here so once we get to here this is all sound again uh, it's you know it's got a little bit of mold on it but uh, you know what well, that's going to clean up but it's it's solid there so I'm going to basically cut it down where this uh, strap is and and then replace it along this length so the first order of business here is to is to get that old thing out and uh, you can see uh, here's the joist underneath the joists come across over the steel beam there and uh, tie into this um, rim joist so uh, structurally you know there's not a lot this doesn't do a lot structurally uh, you know all the weight is uh, is being you can see how the studs and the walls come down and you know are on over top of these two by eight floor joists and then the weight is transferred back over to the steel beam so you know we can safely take this apart obviously it's not structural because it's i mean it's basically gone uh the home hasn't fallen down but uh you know we do want to get this all cleaned up so that we're you know good for uh good for getting our skirting on um i have another mess down here that i'm gonna have to deal with uh which uh, i'll show you in, the, in another video how to repair all of this underbelly so we had uh, one of the viewers was interested in in that and i'm going to show you how we get this mess all cleaned up in another video all right so I'm gonna get to work here and cut this out. So what we have here is uh, this repair where I've repaired the wall and installed a new window. I did that on the last video, so if you missed that and interested, go back and have a look at that. But this sill plate here was all completely rotten. And so I repaired that. And here we have the, uh, the old, uh, have the flooring that comes out under the sill plate and over the rim joist. So that's what you're seeing the edge of right there. Now they have glued this. This has been glued uh, to here. So what I need to do first of all is, uh, you know, go in there with my sawzall and just saw that, get that glue so it's loose, and then I'll be just hitting from the back of this to knock it off of the floor joists. So just a matter of uh, getting the old sawzall in there and just breaking that glue joint. There you can see some of the glue right there. So if you don't do that, um, it will you'll break this. This is just particle board. And you know, some places it, it's been compromised. You can see down here where you know I lost a bit of it here, but uh, it's still good. You know, it's underneath the wall. The floor inside is is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, so I'm gonna get out of here.
Okay, so I'm just going along here and it's cutting, you know, cutting between this and the header. And, you know, there's nails and stuff that have been uh, through the top that attach the, that attach the floor to the, to the joist, to the header, um, the rim joist. And so I just, you know, I'm cutting those nails in there and I'm cutting that glue joint. All right, so I'm just going to carry on with this. All right, so moving along here, um, I've got the old rotten header off. Our rim joist, we call these things different names in different places. Um, around here, I usually call it a header because it's the joist at the head of the floor joists. Um, a lot of people know it as a rim joist, so we'll call it a rim joist because I think most, most of my viewers would uh, call it a rim joist. So there is how it came apart in pieces okay so we're back to here you can see this is uh this is all sound now and you can see some of these are like this is one that's in good shape here i'll just clean this off a little bit this one's good this one has got some damage underneath here uh but it's solid in the top half same thing here this this one's solid on the top half this one's good this one's good this one's got a little bit of damage down on the bottom corner here um, and this one's got quite a bit of damage. So with this one here, what I will have to do is uh, make what I call a sister. And I'll show you that. But basically, it's a piece of 2x8 that I will screw onto this and bring it out to the header. So now I'm going to fit this uh, header, rim joist header. Uh, put this piece in. I can just screw it. I'll be screwing it directly onto this uh, at the end of these joists as I go along. 2x8. So we're going to put four screws in in each one and then I will you know then I'll fit that sister in and that's pretty well gonna take care of it um, before I do that though I'm going to just dab the end of these with some of that wood preservative you know these are pretty clean except for this one here this one's not so good now th this is caused by a slow leak that was in the kitchen sink so this was the kitchen sink on the other side and this this is the plumbing here that came up for the taps and so you can see this damage underneath here was all caused by a leak in the sink that didn't get repaired uh, a slow leak and so we're going to be replacing all of these uh, pipes these old pex pipe or sorry poly b pipes are going to we're going to be uh, replacing all of those so i'm going to show you that but all of this damage here is from a leaky sink okay so that this damage here Okay, and that damage there is all caused by a leaky sink. And here you can see on the on the floor inside where you know we have this damage. Okay, uh, another thing that contributed to this was this old garden tap here. I mentioned that in the last video where uh, you know this had been leaking in behind the metal siding, and then it gets into the wood and it just slow leaks like that, uh, caused this kind of damage. So it's important, you know, if you see something leaking under your sink, you want to take care of it. All right, so I'm going to cut the uh, the new 2x8 and get it fit in here, and and then I'll uh, take you to the next step here. All right, folks, so I'm just about ready to uh, close this up. So here you can see my, my new 2x8 that I've installed here. Okay, and I've just... Uh, you know just screwed it into the ends of the old joists and so now that's all solid again okay and uh yeah we saved uh we saved out a little bit um up here you can see where we lost a little bit of that edge it broke off that's okay uh there's still lots left underneath there to uh you know to support the wall above now this sister thing that I was telling you about, uh, this is what it looks like here. Okay, so here's the here's the original joist here. Okay, and the end of this joist was a bit rotten. I showed you that one. So all I did was just took a piece of two by eight and screwed it onto uh, the side of the original one. So now I've got solid wood out here so that I screwed uh, the two by eight to. Okay, and I did that a couple places. I did it over here and uh, so that's ready now for to close up all right so the next uh, little thing here 
is to you know replace the uh, OSB board over the header and over that opening and then um, I'm gonna remove I gotta fix this so it's all fine underneath there only the uh, sheathing is damaged so I have a joint between the panels so these panels were put on vertically it's the way they do it it's not really the right way to do it uh, the OSB is supposed to go across but at these uh, mobile home factories this is how they do it so I'm gonna be taking this 4x8 panel off here's the other edge of it here okay so I'm gonna take that whole panel off and replace that whole panel with a new panel which will come down and and over you know over all of this all right all right folks so I got this all all put back together now all the rotten stuff is gone uh, we took care of all of the uh, mold that was in there it wasn't bad actually we just had you know a bit of mold down on the bottom there and a bit underneath that sink um, so this is the panel here that I took out and so I put in the new panel so that was just a matter of just taking the old panel out and putting in this new one so you can see now that that's all all back in order and uh, this is ready now to work on my skirting so this is kind of why I had to do all of this because I'm getting ready to do my skirting in conjunction with my windows so it's kind of a bunch of things going on here at the same time but um, this this red uh, this is just a 3m uh, technical tape it's a sheathing tape and uh, it sticks to you know sticks to wood it's really sticks really good um, it's a more like a film than a tape really and so I've just put that on temporarily well it's gonna stay there but um, I've, I've just put it on there uh, to seal you know any of the cracks the joints between the panels just to keep the weather out you know until I get the siding on and uh, you know siding is gonna be be a little ways away yet so uh, you know once I get down with the windows then I'll be doing the skirting and then I'm gonna do the roof and then the siding is gonna come you know quite a bit later so several months from now we'll be doing the siding but uh, in the meantime that's just going to keep any water that comes down with a little bit of rain here today and you can see I don't know if you can see it but you know the water there's a bit of water on the tape here and uh, there you can see it's kind of wet so it just keeps the water from getting into the wall and protects the edge just get, you know so the water just comes down all right folks so just slowly working my way back you know I've started there at the front and fixed all that and now I'm going down here and uh, the next project is going to be the, the window there in the uh, master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. And again, this is uh, an original window. This is an aluminum slider window. Very inefficient, not very secure. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is an original. This is one of the only original ones that was left in this home after the numerous uh, renovations and stuff that have been done here. All right, folks, so stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.